Welcome back to GTC. Today's topic of conversation is going to be about the top performing quarterbacks this weekend, as well as receivers and running backs. Okay. Whew. That Miami Dolphins game versus the Chargers, man, that was a flamethrower. You, you got to admit, that was the best game of the weekend, no doubt. Okay. Um, what did I tell y'all? I did tell y'all that Miami Dolphins was going to be the team to beat. Remember, I told you that. I said, if you can keep Tua upright, Miami's going to be tough. I told you that defense was real. And with those receivers and running backs, Miami's going to be a tough tough squad to, you know, to, to take out. I told you that. That boy went for um, 466 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. Okay? He lit it up. Then your boy Tyreek Hill. That man had 11 catches, okay? He had 11 catches on 15 targets, 215 yards, and two tutties. Come on, baby. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> you got to celebrate that performance. But over on the Chargers side, Herbert didn't do too bad, but Eckler got off. That boy only had 16 touches, and he got 117 and a tutty. Come on now. You, you, you got to give it up to him when, when you see that kind of play. You got to give it up to him. I mean, what can you say, man? Like, really? You can't really you can't really dispute that. You know what I'm saying? You just really can't dispute that at all. Also, some other top performance today. You know, I like what Trevor Lawrence did. He, he put up 241 and two tutties, one pick. You know what I'm saying? For a rookie, though, Anthony Richardson didn't do bad. 223, one tutty, one pick. That ain't that. That ain't that bad. You know what I'm saying? But Calvin Ridley, <laughs> he had a great day. You know what I'm saying? Eight receptions, 11 targets, 101 yards, and a touchdown. You know what I'm saying? You can't really do that. You know, you you can't really you know say nothing bad about that because that ain't too shabby at all. Okay. Um, the defense for the Jacksonville Jaguars probably is gonna have to get better if they want to you know really contend. But they still had you know a good awesome day as far as what they were doing as far as top top plays top receivers and what was going on that that was really that was really impressive to me in my opinion okay also we got a big up to the rams and matthew stafford you know what i'm saying stafford went crazy today he had a lot of yards but he had that goose egg for them touchdowns but he didn't throw no picks which is something he's known for throwing them to the other team you know what i'm saying but he did good today. He still went for 300 yards, and that's still that's still pretty good considering everything that's going on and how it's going on. Um, the next the next uh, performer, performer I would like to highlight today is going to be Jordan Love, man, because <laughs> everybody was down in that boy. Everybody was talking crap. He can't be this. He can't do that. He ain't going to be this. He ain't going to be that. The man went 15 to 27, okay? for 245 yards, three tutties, okay? And his passer rating was was out the out the roof, bro. It was out the roof. He was like 120 123 for his passer rating. Come on, bro. That don't that don't happen. That don't you know that Come on, man. He 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 lit it up. Romeo Dobbs for a second year player, he he had two tutties, okay? So that was that was a nice little performance that we got out of him today for show sure, for from Green Bay. You know what I mean? So when you're just looking at this, you know, you can start to see some of the top performers here, you know, watching this, uh, this Dallas game, I would say if I had to make some, some type of prediction on this, I'm going to say that defense is looking real. <laughs> that defense is looking really good. All right. That defense is looking really solid right now. No doubt. Um, San Francisco, of course, you know, for Brock Pretty to come back off of his, uh, off of that uh, surgery and, and show back up today, you know, he didn't do that bad. Um, he went for 200, 220 yards, two tutties, you know what I'm saying? Looked pretty impressive. But did you see that boy McCaffrey? Ooh, <laughs> did you see that boy McCaffrey? Ooh, <laughs> that little fella got low, okay? That little fella got low, low, low. It, it, he was not BSing, okay? He was not bullshitting, all right? 22 carries for 152 yards and a tutty. Come on, man. Anna Teddy, let's go. Stand up. Brandon Ayuk, <laughs> that boy went, he went catching. You know what I'm saying? He went big game catching. 
He got eight targets, eight receptions, 129 yards, and two tutties. Come on, baby. Come on now. You Come on now. You got to give him his props. He did his thing, man. He did his thing. Plus, that defense in San Francisco is looking pretty damn impressive. Okay? Let's not play no games. They're looking pretty goddamn impressive. So, with that being said, you, 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 you understand what's happening here. But, we still got to talk about a top performer that did not perform. <laughs> All right? We got to talk about a top performer that did not perform today. Okay? And the only reason why we highlighting this guy is because they making this big deal out of this guy, Joe Burrow. Okay? They making Joe Burrow out to be something, you know, special. I ain't saying that he ain't because that boy is special. Let's not get it twisted. Joe Burrow is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. Okay? But today, today, man, 14 to 31, 52% completion rating. Passer rating, I'm sorry. Passer rating. 52 from Joe Burrow? Don't he got Jamar Chase? Don't he got T. Higgins? Don't he got Tyler Boyd? Don't he got Joe Mixon? Don't he got an offensive line? Whoa. What? What just happened? What just happened? Like, what just happened? I, I don't get it. So, when we start talking all this craziness and we start keep trying to compare this boy to, to the greatest one right now, which is Pat, all right? We got to stop. We got to stop now. We got to stop. You, you just seen that boy uh, uh, crap his pants on, on, on the first game of the season. Now, Pat didn't do too much better, okay? Let's not – I told you we ain't biased over here. I'm a Chiefs fan. We not biased over here, but he did do better than that. He didn't wet the bed. Somebody wet the bed. <laughs> we going to need some new sheets and covers fooling with Joe. Come on now. But like I said – Pat didn't do too bad either. He didn't do too much better either. He might have got out the bed before he peed on it, but, but he still peed too, all right? So let's just keep it real, man. You know what I mean? That's what we do over here at GTC. We just keeping it real, you know? We shouting out the teams that's doing what they supposed to do and how they do it, and the big-name players, whether it be the running backs, the wide receivers, or the QBs. We're going to big them up. We're going to big up them over here. That's what we do. Um, again, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification button to stay alert. You know what I'm saying? Talk to your boy. I talk back. Peace.